Alright guys, so we got the Road High Silvers on, the OEM replacement, and did some measurements here. Took the stock bar measurements off the ground, came out to 960 millimeters, and 175 millimeters back from the center of the bar clamp. That's where ours came out with. Everybody's might be a little different, depending on the angle it is in here. Obviously, the more farther it goes back, the lower they go. The farther they go forward, the higher it goes. So there'll be some variances, but again, this is all supposed to be used as just an idea of what you want to do, how you want to do it. So we got the RC High Silver, or the Road High Silvers on here, and these are OEM replacement. They're 120 millimeter height versus stocker 140. So once we've mounted these on here and try to get the same angle we have on the stock ones, the height off the ground is now 890 versus your stock ones are 960. So they're going to be that much lower and the swept back is about 165. So they're a little bit farther forward. And to see on the clearance here, take this out of the way, still got a pretty good amount of room here, but it is getting close. So it clears here. I got my full hand underneath here. The biggest thing you gotta remember is this angle at me is gonna affect on how it clears the bodywork. If you keep the same angle of stock, then you'll have no problems with these. If you wanted to bring them closer, then it's gonna start lowering it closer to the plastics. But these, for our recommendation, are a great alternative for stock ones. If you want a nice setup, a little bit lower, not too aggressive, still sitting upright, you don't have to be hunched over and looking all you know cafe racer style, um, and OEM bar clamps. So something to consider for you guys that uh, want to keep the cost down and just have a nice upgraded bar, a little bit cleaner look, a little bit nicer, get some color options, and not have to mess with too much else. All right, so now we're gonna take off the stock bar clamps and you do this by going underneath the clamp with a 14 millimeter wrench. It's a lot easier to do this with the bar still on it because that'll keep the perches from turning. We've already loosened these up. And then to get the bar clamps out, you go ahead and just pull up on them. They're rubber mounted, so it's a snug fit. But they basically just pop right out once you give them a good old tug. Or just twist off. There you go. Now the bar clamps are out, and we'll switch them out with the new ones, which are the oversized bars. I'm going to do that next. All right, so we got the new oversized billet clamps, and you'll basically take the stock rubber grommets that were in there on the stock ones and put these on to the new ones on the top and on the bottom. We also used our own extra washers just for an extra level of personal preference. Alright, so right now we've got our RC high bars and we've got them set at what they notch out here at zero. It's a similar angle to the stock ones. The back sweep is actually only 140, where the stocks were 175. So it's not your hands are normally about here. Now they're up a little bit farther forward. The height of them compared to stock ones were 960 off the floor. And these are 885. Now, one thing I am starting to notice as we do these is the height of it's important, but the most important thing is the rise of the bars. The rise is what clears your bodywork. So you could have a, two bars that equal rise, and one's come straight out and one comes higher. They're going to have different heights, but the rise is the most important part. As you can see here, now I can't even stick my pinky under here. Literally, if you want to zoom in on that, that's how much clearance I have on that bar. Now, of course, that also is the angle of the bar. If I raise them up, I'd have even more clearance. If I raise them back down, I'll have even less clearance. So 
the RCs are the RCs are where you start getting close to your body work. They're not, you know, the next ones will be a little bit lower. We'll see how those work, but these are getting down there to where anything much less, at least for the rise part of it. And you know, we'll show you all the measurements on the website on different size bars, but I think you're getting close to that that rise setup is going to be where anything lower and you're going to start hitting plastic. So, you want to be able to turn lock to lock without hitting plastic. That's the most important thing. So right now, we're doing okay. If I tilt these back a little bit more, it's going to start hitting the plastic. But this is the same angle of stock. It's pretty comfortable. It's a nice height. And it's, you know, I mean, my handlebars are normally here stock. Now we're down here. Alright, now we've got the black CR Honda. These are 875 millimeters off the ground versus stock is 960 and they're 130 millimeters swept back versus stock is 175. So this I think is about as close as it gets. These are literally, you can barely even pull a t-shirt, that's how much gap I have on the swept area. On the other side, a little bit, maybe a finger. They are set at zero, so they are about as far back as you'd want to go. So if you did tilt them up a little bit, you'd have a little bit more clearance. Now I have noticed also, when you take the master cylinder, and that's going to go where your position is, it's going to bump the plastic. So you'd have to reroute the hose a little bit, basically loosen the banjo and tilt the hose up a little bit to make the clearance. But as it stands right now, these bars will work. I think we have reached our lowest, but we've got one more set left to see. But there you go right now. It does clear at the zero. Again, this is the farthest angle back. You can put them anywhere you want, any angle you want, but on the bars it has zero through five, five being up more or higher. So right now they're in the basically your stock position. So it's, uh, it's a pretty, I mean, it's a comfortable bar, but it's definitely a, uh, I mean, it's tight, so. Alright, and our last pair, the Renthal Reed Wyndham. These are pretty much spot on to the black ones we just had, the CR Hondas. They have a very similar height and rise. These are going to be a little bit lower with a 56 millimeter rise and a total height of 92. Off the ground, they're 875 versus, again, the stocks are 960. And the sweat back from stocks are 175, these are 130. So your bars, as always, are going to be a little bit farther forward, a little bit lower. And for clearance, it's going to be just like the CRs where it's a t-shirt. So I'm very confident to say basically the rise that you're going to want, if you're going for the absolute bare bottom minimum without banging stuff, is going to be about 65 basically in the 60, 55 to 60. These are 56 and the other ones are 65. So again, that all comes down to the angle you're putting the bar at. You could probably do a, lot, a little bit lower rise, but you're gonna have to then tilt the bars up, which is kind of defeating the point. So if you wanna have the same angle as your stock ones and not look like you're like leaning forward, then you're probably not gonna wanna go with anything less than either the CR Hondas or the Reed Windhams. So. That concludes these. I'm going to show you guys what it looks like all completed and done up. I think we've decided to go with the RC highs just to have that little bit of extra clearance there. I like to have it just a teeny bit higher. But all these bars work. They're all going to be on our website. We're selling every flavor you want. If you want to get bars that you know you're going to hit plastic, that's fine. If you want to get bars that a little bit higher, totally up to you. We're going to sell every size, every flavor every color that's available, and we're going to do our best to make sure you're happy with what you get.